Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Target 100 in Mathematics by Shivesh Kumar Singh and in this video we are going to learn some questions related with part 2 for term and examination of grade 6. Okay, see uh, I have divided the questions into two parts now, part 2 and part 3. Part 1 I have divided into several questions so you can go through those videos. Okay, so uh, let's practice some questions and I have taken these questions from your revealed mathematics book uh, in Ministry of Education. They say here, find the missing dimension of the parallelogram. So you can see here, area is given, base is not given and height is given. So what you will think here first, what is the area of parallelogram? What is the formula? Formula is area is equal to base times height. Okay, this is the formula. Now you see what all values are given here. So value of area is given 28. Okay, it is written here then base is not given so write b here and then height is also given so it is 4 now it is b is multiplied by 4 and we have to find the value of b so what we will do we will divide both sides by 4 so it will be b is equal to 28 divided by 4 it means 7 so what you will write here base is equal to 7 meter See, my dear students, if it is an open response question, means you have to write on the paper, then definitely you will write answer like this, okay? Because they are asking about the base and unit is also given here, meter square or meter. So you will write the base as meter, okay? Don't forget to mention the unit. Now, another question, same type. Find the missing dimension. So here height is missing this time. So again, area is equal to base multiply by height okay don't feel bored my dear students that why to write formula again and again okay it will give you a nice practice and you will memorize the formula 40 is the area base is given this time which is 8 height don't know so what you will do you will divide both sides by 8 so 8 uh, sorry h is equal to h is equal to 40 what i'm writing 40 divided by 8 means it is equal to 5 inches okay like this you will get the answer next question i am rushing little bit so that we can finish the questions uh, quickly okay because so many questions i think i have taken in this video find the perimeter now you see graph is given here and if graph is given then perimeter is very easy to find okay what i told you about the perimeter pause the video and write your answer in the comment I will see that how many of you will write the answer, okay? And I'll prefer that you write your name also. See, perimeter means borderline, outline, okay? So just count the number of lines or number of blocks like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 and 38. So its perimeter will be equal to 38 and what? Unit is not given. So write here unit. Okay. Now I will tell you another method also. Okay. Because see sometimes graph will not be given to you. Coordinates will be given to you. Then what you will do? Either you will make the graph or you can find it directly also. How? I will tell you. Just I will tell you one line only. Okay. See. For example, this is the biggest line. So for this we will see what is the coordinate of this lower point here? 8, 2. And what is the point here? Coordinate of upper point? 8 14 so what you can see if line is vertical then always value of x will be same yes so what you do just subtract the values of y means bigger value minus smaller value so it will be 12 so 12 will be height of this line no need to count the blocks now okay similarly here you can see for all the okay let's complete the question by this method also no problem see if line is horizontal then value of x will not be same but value of y will be same so y is same so cancel it now subtract the values of x so here value of x is 8 here it is 7 so 8 minus 1 is equal to 7 so length of this line is 7 now what about this vertical line you see here coordinate is this coordinate is 1, 8 
and this coordinate is 1 2 so value of x is same because it is a vertical line so subtract 8 minus 2 means its height is 6 okay now what about this horizontal line this one here coordinate is 1 8 and here coordinate is 5 8 so 5 minus 1 which is will be equal to 4 and here this vertical line this is this will be 5 14 and here it is 5 8 so 14 minus 8 means 6 is the height of this line and the last one this is 5 14 here and 8 14 here if you can see then 14 is the same so subtract the different value so 8 minus 5 which is 3 now you add all these numbers what you got means 3 plus 12 plus 7 plus 6 plus 4 plus 6 okay and what answer you will get here 12 plus 3 15 15 plus 7 22 20 plus 7 22 plus 6 28 28 plus 4 32 32 and 6 38 units see we got the same answer okay like this so you have two ways to find the perimeter now another thing same type of question so let's complete the box okay or you can it's your wish pause the video and found with the finding length of the line or you can count the number of blocks outside only borderline because we have to find the perimeter if you have to find the area then you will find the complete boxes like 1 2 3 4 5, 5 6 7 8 9 10 like this all boxes you will count inside okay now why it is not erasing very bad okay now let's count the borderline 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 and 42 so perimeter is equal to 42 now what you will do you will pause the video and you will find the perimeter by another method what i told you by finding the length okay and then you will write the answer in the comment that whether you find the same answer or there is a some problem okay now oh see we got the same type of question a rectangle has vertices this one these four vertices are given use the coordinates to find the perimeter of the rectangle so what you can do here you have two ways first you can draw the graph like this and here you plot the point but what i'm going to do here i'll just make the rough figure and then we'll try to find the perimeter see they say one point is two seven so suppose here it is one here it is two so two seven goes up so this is the point a with the coordinate two seven okay another point b is 2 0 so 2 0 will come down here so it will be 2 0 so this is going to be a vertical line like this oh, hmm. why vertical line is not looking like vertical okay take it as vertical i am sorry for the picture like this okay c c is 6 0 so i am taking this point as c 6 0 their order should be correct okay my dear students don't see their exact measurement 6 7 so 7 is here why so it will go in front of that so here i am taking d as 6 7 now join them oh horizontal line is okay but vertical line is not good okay no problem now you see what will be the length of this rectangle all the sides you see here it is 2 value of x is 2 and here value of x is 6 so what will be the distance 4 uh, sorry 6 minus 2 that is 4 okay so since it is a rectangle so it will also be 4 now what about height height will be here it is 7 here it is 0 because see here it is y 7 and here y is 0 so 7 minus 0 is 7 so 7 is this length so 7 will be this length also so what will be perimeter perimeter will be equal to 7 plus 4 plus 7 plus 4 means it will be 7 plus 4 11 11 plus 7 18 18 plus 4 22 okay i am sure you remember the formula for the area of rectangle perimeter of rectangle also what's that formula 2 times l plus w length and breadth okay so length is 7 width is 4 so 7 plus 4 11 and 11 times 2 is 22 the same answer we are getting here unit
okay now next question can be same type of question now i'll skip this question and i will request you to pause the video and do it yourself okay and write in the comment that whether you got the answer or no i am leaving this question now up to, for you now another question can be uh, a polygon has vertices a33 b36 and c93 find the area of the polygon now you see we have to find the area so counting will not be done like this and moreover you have here three points it means it is going to be a triangle so a triangle will not have all the complete squares inside it okay so what we are going to do we will find the formula for the area of triangle okay so let's make the triangle first like this you can make it on the graph paper also if you want so this point i am taking as okay it is something like that okay uh, let's take the point it will be better option for us a33 three, three. so 3 suppose here 1 2 3 and 3 is up also so this is a33 three, three. now what is b b is 3 6 so it goes somewhere suppose here b is b coordinate is 3 6 so it's going to be a vertical line and then c is 9 3 okay so i'm taking here 9 and 3 go up here same to same distance like this so it is c with coordinate 9 3 okay now you can see it is looking like a right triangle can you write in the comment that why I am so sure that it will be a right triangle? Nowhere it is given that angle is 90 degree. Okay. Why it is 90? Because this is a vertical line. And why it is a vertical line? Because x value is same and y value is not same. So definitely it is going to be a vertical line. Okay. I try to find this. Oh, that's good. Very good. Uh, approximately very good. Okay. So its height. What is the area of triangle? area of triangle is half times base times height okay now it is half times what is base value of base c value of x is same uh, sorry value of y is same here 3 and 3 so you will subtract the value of x to get the base so this is 6 is the base and what is height subtract the values of y because y is different so 6 minus 3 is 3 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 3 times 3 is 9 unit square. Like this you can find the area of triangle. Okay. Next can be a polygon has a vertices this and find the area. So they, we have 4 points here. So definitely we are going to make the graph and then we will find the area. And if it comes a rectangle it's very easy for us. See 2, 3. So I am taking 1, 2 here and 3 goes up. So this point I am taking as 2, 3. B is 4, 3. Okay. So 4 means 3 and 4 and 3 here. Same point. It goes 4, 3. So we can join this also. Okay. Now C is 4, 7. Okay. Very good. So 4, 7 means in the same direction it goes up here. C is 4, 7. Try to join with a vertical line like this. Very good. And then D is 2, 7. Oh, very good picture. Now, this is like a rectangle. Not like a rectangle. This is a rectangle. Okay. D is 2, 7. Again, my dear students, why I am so sure that it will be a rectangle? Because hmm, I am not happy with myself. This is the line. Very, very zigzag line. Okay. Why it is a rectangle? Because value of Y is not same, but value of X is same. If you see, value of X is same. Here, value of Y is same okay so this is going to be a rectangle and if it is a rectangle then what is the area formula for the rectangle it is base multiply by height so this line segment is what this is 4 minus 2 means 2 why 4 minus 2 because value of x is here 4 and value of x is 2 so 4 minus 2 is 2 so 2 is the base and what is the height 7 minus 3 means 4 so it will be 4 so it is 8 unit square okay again i am telling you you can make these coordinates on the graph paper if graph paper is given to you in the exam and then you will count you can count all the boxes inside that rectangle all the boxes okay and then you will find the area okay now let's see what is the next question find the missing dimension of the trapezoid now you see in this case trapezoid area is given to us and we can find the missing side easily how 
what is the formula for area of trapezoid it is area is equal to half times sum of the parallel sides times height so height is not given here you can take it as a and you can take it as b or you can change the values of a and b also no no worries okay so what is area here 40 half times a is 8 b is 12 times h now you can see you can do here two things that 2 can go here up on another side with 40 or you can make 8 plus 12 and you can divide it by 2 up to you okay no problem so 12 plus 8 20 20 divided by 2 is 10 now both sides you will divide by 10 so h is equal to 40 divided by 10 means 4 okay and this will be the answer 4 inches another question can be find the area of the trapezoid okay the same type of question so area is equal to half times sum of the parallel sides times height so this is half of this is a and this is b this is h so half times a plus b times h now two up and two down cancel three plus three plus one point five is four point five fit square okay another question can be a man drives a standard sized dump truck with a rectangular prism you will focus on the word only you will focus on the shape that what shape you have in the question don't worry about the complete question okay so rectangular prism shape bit so we are concerned with rectangular prism the volume volume of rectangular prism so what you what you do here just read the question and write the formula here and then we'll see what all values are given so what is the formula for volume of a rectangular prism it is length multiply width multiply height now we will see what else is given the volume of a bed truck is 720 so this volume is 720 very good if the length length means l it is given 15 width it is given 8 so it is 8 then height should not be given here because from these four things three things will be given to you and one thing you will have to find okay now very good so this 15 and 8 both the things are in multiplication so it will be in division to another side so 720 divided by 15 multiply by 8 you can divide it easily 8 times 9 72 so it becomes 90 90 divided by 15 is 6 so here it comes 6 feet okay and finally you will write because they are asking height of the dump truck so you will write here height is equal to 6 feet like this you will write the complete answer if it is a open response question okay now another question can be a rectangular prism has a length of 8 inches width this and height this so we have to find the volume so find it volume is equal to l w h why I have taken this question because it has mixed fraction okay so I want you to understand the calculation again so 8 multiply 7 and half multiply 6 and 1 over 4 so what we are going to do we will convert this into improper fraction means by 7 multiply 2 is 14 14 plus 1 is 15 okay just remove it from here okay so it comes 15 over 2 times 6 times 4 24 24 plus 1 25 over 4 now 4 times 2 8 8 up and 8 down cancel now 15 multiply 25 20 uh, 15 times 5 75 7 carry forward 15 times 2 30 and 7 37 inch cube okay like this you can solve this question another question can be find the missing dimension now this question is related with the triangle so what is the area of triangle formula it is half times base times height what is the area value here 38.7 is equal to half times base base means base is not given here okay height means height is okay so uh, value of height is 8.6 okay now we have to simplify it only so what we can do we can divide 8.6 by 2 
my dear students if you have any problem see i can i i know that you know the division and multiplication but if you have any problem then you can go step by step okay then there will be no mistake or there will be very very less chance for the mistake so 2 times 4 8 and 2 times 3 6 so b is equal to 38.7 divided by 43 okay and 43 i think it will go up to 9 times because if I take, because see decimal places, one decimal place, one decimal place. So it can cancel. We can cancel the decimal place. No problem here. And if you multiply 9 by 3, then 27, 2 forward, 9 times 4, 36 and 2, 38. Yes, very good calculation for me. So it is 9 kilometer. Okay. So base is 9 kilometers. Now next is find the missing dimension. Now you see this area is again given here. So area is equal to half times base times height. So area is given 13.5 is equal to half times base. Base is 6.75 times height is given here. So what we can do because 6.75 if you will divide by 2 then again it will be in further decimal places. So I don't want that. Okay. So 2 is in division. So here 2 will go in multiplication. So h is equal to 13.5 multiplied by 2 over 6.75. Why 6.75 came down? Because it was here up in multiplication. So if it goes to another side, it will become in division. Okay. So 13.5 multiplied by 2, it is 27 divided by 6.75. Now what we can do here actually... Uh, See, if it is a multiple choice question, you can approximate the answer and then you will get the answer, okay? But I want you to do it in a proper way. So what we can do here actually, uh, I'm thinking about the easiest way to tell you. Okay, what I thought, if I remove here decimal point, then what you will do here? You will put two zeros. Why two zeros? Because after decimal point, we have two places. Now we can divide it, I guess, easily. How? 675 and here 2700 now up to 270 divisor is bigger so we will take all the four numbers together so what we can do here see i will tell you two values you leave from here two places you leave from here here we get only 26 here we get sorry 27 and here we get six so how many groups you can make in 27 for the six four groups only so we'll check with the four okay whether we can divide or no so check with the four 4 times 5, 20, 4 times 7, 28 and 2, 30, 4 times 6, 24 and 3, 27. Wow, very good. So, 4 inches. Like this, you will get the answer. Okay, hope you have understood all the questions and if you have any problem, then you can write in the comment. I will explain it again. And I think one question I left for you, everyone, please solve that question and write your answer in the comment. And if you face any problem, that, that also you will write. Okay. And if you think that such videos will help you to increase your knowledge, please like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to see other videos. And after, after this, you will watch part three to complete all the questions for your term and examination. Okay. Thank you.